seven uh, explains formation of stationary wave. So superposition of wave of two waves. Let's say we have a, a wave one, right, and we have a, a wave two. A superposition for the amplitude here. If we talk about the amplitude. This is a produce a double amplitude. This is a and this is B. this is a amplitude and this two a. So superposition between the two uh, wave formation, the standing wave. So let's say the same process. We have a wave to the right, and we have another wave here. See the blue color here. We have another wave here. And let's say this is a wave one. And we have a the red here is a wave a wave B, right? and so to produce or for formation of standing wave standing wave so the amplitude of the two wave is a uh, same same speed yes, same amplitude same speed same frequency and traveling opposite direction so this is to the to the left and this is to the this is uh, how we can uh, describe or explain the formation of standing wave. Number 7A2 Violin string has mass per unit length 001. So this is new one, 0 0.01. And tension T is 0 0.36 Newton. And the wavelength of the string is vibrate at frequency. Calculate wavelength. So what is the lambda if the frequency at the frequency it has so i uh, we can uh, use the value of the tension of the strain and the new new is mass per unit length by using the equation the speed of the uh, f is equal to the tension of the t divided by new mass per unit length okay, now uh, and we also know v is equal to f lambda and eh, probability of the particle v is equal to speed is equal to v f time lambda so if you relate to the v here we have the same uh, same uh, v or the same uh, item here so meaning here we can use the lambda here this is lambda is equal to because v is um, V is equal to T over new and divided by frequency and you know the value of the tension we have a uh, 36036 36. new is given 001 and the frequency is equal to 8 Hertz so you can find the value of the lambda here is 0 0.75 meter they continue to the number three. The first overtone standing standing wave is formed 30 centimeter close pipe. So for the close pipe, if you draw the diagram, is close pipe. So meaning we have a uh, the close at, at end and we have open at the the hand. So uh, sketch the first overtone. So first overtone for the close pipe is this is the. Uh, first overtone for the close pipe right our first overtone is equal to the second harmonic right so uh, sketch and calculate its frequencies what is the frequency for the uh, first overtone for the uh, cent 30 centimeter close pipe so this is uh, the length of the pipe is 30 centimeter right okay uh, because if you get the first overtone for the close pipe the frequency is given by the equation f is equal to 3 p divided by 4 l right this is how you can relate the frequency here to the fundamental frequency or maybe you can calculate the fundamental frequency first for the uh, 
close pipe or you can use the equation here so now uh, because the V here is referred to the this is V is the speed of the sound is 340 340 and the length of pipe is a 30 cm convert to the meter is time 10 power of minus 2 so now you can find the frequency at the first overtone or the uh, second harmonic is equal to 850 yes. alright uh, continue to the question number B what is the Doppler effect of for the sound wave so Doppler effect for the sound waves is apparent change in frequency so we have a frequency frequency is referred to the frequency let's like say F0 and Fs F0 is frequency um, detected by the observer or Fs is referred to the frequency produced by the source so meaning here for the Doppler effect is apparent change in frequency right, Fs and F0 of the sound as a result relative motion between the sound source and observer so we have a uh, frequency of f naughts and ffs so we can uh, describe the change of the frequency uh, refer to the motion or relative motion between the two object observer and the source okay uh, continue to the number two uh, b2 a car traveling 25 meter per second emit a sound frequency 1100 hertz approach the stationary observer calculate apparent frequency on the sound heard by the observer even the speed of the sound is 340 so meaning here we have the the car right let's like say this is a car or you can use the ambulance right so the car is emit the sound right and say this is a stationary observer stationary observer meaning uh, speed v is, is equal to zero and the speed of the car is given 25 meter per second and the frequency emit by the uh, source is 1100 hertz and the speed of the sound right sorry uh, the speed of the sound eh? this is constant 340 meter per uh, second so now if you can use the uh, Doppler effect or you can use the equation F0 is equal to V is a sound uh, speed of the sound in air plus minus V of V observer divided by speed of sound plus minus speed of the source time uh, frequency source so now uh, calculate apparent frequency apparent frequency heard by the sound heard by the observer here is a f naught so what is the frequency reached to the observer so here we have a constant value 340 this is also 340 and this is stationary observer so meaning we have zero so v source is the speed of the car of the source is 25 so here it use the value uh, the positive or negative because uh, when the car approach to the observer so meaning frequency increase so the increase the frequency of uh, observer frequency so you can use the negative right so you can use the calculator and find the final answer for the frequency uh, the sound heard by the observer is equal to this is equal to 1100 87 yes. okay again okay thank you